What's up, Kia to Technical? I'm back again with another video, and today we're just gonna talk about the sad news about OnePlus and Oppo not releasing a OnePlus Open 2 or the Oppo uh, Open 2 device, because as we all know, Oppo makes their phones just like OnePlus makes their devices. And, you know, Oppo just makes it to where OnePlus is able to sell their devices in the United States of America unlocked. But uh, now they are canceling that plan and they will not come out with a new folding device until 2025. So this is where I'm going to say this is the best time to go buy uh one plus open if you're out there in the foldable market but you do not want to go the google route and you do not want to go the samsung route use it on a day-to-day -day basis ever since i got this a couple of weeks ago i have been enjoying my time with the one plus open i just i don't know it's just a nice phone to have in general yes it has things that I like about it and I don't like about it but I would have to make a separate video about that but I'm mainly making this video to just throw it out there this is the best time to go buy a OnePlus open because you do not have to worry about OnePlus coming out with a device a, dev a new a newer one this year because they're not coming out with a new one this year you'd have to wait until next year which I can agree with that because at least if they don't put one out this year, 2024, this came out in 2023 of last year, that is giving, this is, this, them skipping 2024 is going to give them a lot of time to be working on the OnePlus Open 2 or whatever they're going to call it for next year, you know, and they can make it a lot better than the OnePlus Open because this is already better. It's already a nice, good phone. You know, I like it. I really like it a lot because of the size on the front. It's like you're using a real size phone. So I actually, I'm actually going to have to agree with uh, OnePlus with them waiting to put out another foldable. You know, I wish some other companies would do the same. Maybe you put out a foldable every other year. I feel like when you're putting out a foldable every year or just the phone every year in general, you're rushing, you're rushing so you can get it out, you know, so people can buy your product over another product. Say, say for instance, like now you got the uh, Google Pixel uh, Fold 2. It's going to be coming out and then the... Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is going to be coming out. You know, maybe uh, those two companies should take a break. Well, I'm not going to say Google because this is Google's first time, but maybe they should have not came out with the uh, 2 yet and wait wait until next year and come out with the 2. And like with Samsung, I feel like they should do the exact same thing because I feel like when you are constantly bringing out different devices, foldables, so on and so on, I feel like you're going to miss points and miss features on the device that you want to actually bring over to the device, but you can't because you're in a time frame. You know, you got to get the uh, leaks out about the device or whatever. You got to get the device made. You got to get, well, you got to get the mock-up made. You got to figure out what it's going to do, where the buttons are going to go, how's it going to perform, what kind of chip is it going to have, so on and so on. You got to buy the materials and the parts and test. You have to go through testing. I'm sure they have to go through a lot of, a lot of prototypes before they can come to a point and say, yes, this is the phone because I know it doesn't just work. I know they just don't come with the design and be like, man, yeah, this is the one. I'm sure it takes time. And I feel like when company, phone companies and brands are just coming out with a dev uh, different devices every year, you know, it's, it's making it tough on people because they feel like they have to go waste their money on the latest and greatest, you know, instead of just doing it, maybe a foldable every other year, then you're, you know, you're giving 
uh, people like me and other people time to, you know, save up their money to actually make a good decision because when you're just throwing all these phones and foldables out, whatever it is, then mistakes are going to happen, you know, because you're like, oh man, this is the latest and the greatest device. And then two months later or the year later, then you have another device coming out and then you're like, man, I feel out of date. But with this OnePlus Open, since they're not coming out with a OnePlus Open 2 this year, you're not going to feel out of, date, out of date, you know. Yes, it's last year's device, but it's still a good device. And by the time, you know, 2025 come, you can just trade this in, get you the new one, and go about your merry way, and you won't feel so bad. I know I won't feel so bad. So, you know, and I can only speak on that because I got this later in the game. I did not get this when it first uh, was launched or anything, you know. And I'm like, man, why did I just get this if they're going to put out a OnePlus Open 2? Open two. But I got lucky. I'm actually glad that they're not. I feel like this is going to give them some time to, you know, perfect things that need to be a little tad bit more better. Because there's, there's things on here that could be fixed. You know, there's things on here that could be fixed. Like I said, there's things on this device that I like and things on this device that I don't like. And I feel like they can get better if they just take their time, uh, have a OnePlus open. Uh, they need to have a OnePlus open by them at all times while they are um, in the lab or wherever they are uh, getting ready to... Uh, perfect and make the new device you know they can uh do some subtle changes with the design maybe um with the camera you know they can make it maybe a tad bit smaller they do not have to have it uh that big you know to get a even nicer look and feel but this is good you know for one plus to be calling this their first like folding phone even though it's really not because oppo is really their brand you know oneplus is like the sister company of oppo because oppo oppo is not here in the united states of america so we have oneplus instead but overall this is the time you should go out there and pick up a oneplus open i recommend it if you do not already have a oneplus open go get you one because there's not a new one coming out this year so you don't have to feel bad you'll still have a nice uh phone to use in the next year you know and i don't feel so bad about my uh decision because there is no new one that's coming out this year yes it's kind of bummer because you do like to see you got used to seeing new vice new devices being made and coming out and being released every uh every year but uh it is what it is in the comment section below uh let me know your thoughts let me know how you feel about oneplus canceling the oneplus open 2 and let me know if you think that's a good thing or a bad thing and let me know if you have a oneplus open and how you like using your oneplus open and just let me know your thoughts in general and i'll catch you in the next video i'm out